Hi, my name is Chris from Music Academy in Staley Bridge and in today's video we're going to be looking at the sharp sign. It's very similar to a hashtag or a noughts and crosses board. So we have two lines going down and two lines going across. You see they're at a slight angle. These lines are at an angle and these lines are at a slight angle. Now when we're drawing it next to a note, the note head would go next to this square. So the note would go like this and that would be a line through the middle. Let's have a look on the stave and see how that looks. So this is a line note. And when we're drawing a sharp sign next to the line note we have to make sure this line goes through the centre box. So we put two lines down and then two lines across and that's what the sharp sign would look like next to a line note. It's a space note next. There's our space note. Remember the stem changes size once you go below line three. Now a sharp sign next to the space note. Well this square needs to be in the space so we'll put our two vertical lines, slightly one slightly further up than the other, and then our two lines going across. And that's a sharp sign next to a space note. Now if we were talking about the name of a note, we would say the letter name of the note, let's call it F, and then we would say it's F sharp, or F sharp if we're using shorthand. But when we write the note on the stave we always write sharp then the note. Whereas when we talk about it in English we say the note then the sharp. So when you're writing your music make sure you get your sharp sign on the right side, on the correct side of the note. I hope that helps. If you have any more questions about music theory or writing theory or anything about music theory, leave the question in the comments. Someone will get back to you. If you'd like more help on how to pass the theory exam, do contact us through our website, which is www.musicacademyhub.com, where you can come to our studio in Staley Bridge, which is near Manchester in England, or we can do Skype lessons or any instant messenger platform to help you out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.